this is something that I told myself I will never, never conform to society's trends. And yet here we are. One year passed and the army of DIYers and gurus already took over the internet. Besides, when you speak on your own, this is what people want. So I figured, if you can't beat them, join them. Am I going to be just another DIY channel? Yes? No. Maybe? I don't know. Will my DIYs be weird and out of context? Yes. Will they be something that literally a toddler could do? Mm-hmm. Will I be doing it my way? Which basically means I'll suck ass. Absolutely! Let's get going! As you've probably read from the title, these are relatively cheap and easy crafts, which use relatively cheap items that can be found in literally every supermarket, especially around Halloween. They're also last minute, which means that they can be done a few hours before Halloween, just like this video was made. And they're punny, which means that you can be the smartest joke at the party. You're welcome. So I'm going to start with the energy vampire. For those of you who don't know French, energy vampires are like people who literally suck the life out of you. Kind of like the mentors, but with feet, and you can't use the Patronum charms on them. What you are going to need for this costume are um, vampire fangs, which can basically be found everywhere. They're relatively cheap. Um, and you're also going to need like wigs or accessories, depending on what person you are going to be. So um, I'm going to be my um, chemistry teacher because she <laughs> literally sucks the life out of me. And um, I'm gonna have to wear like old lady clothes and put my hair up in a tight ponytail because that's the way she wears it all the fucking time and she doesn't have a real sense of style, I don't know. And I'm gonna have to put like pillows in my clothes because she looks like an actual ball, like a real life ball. Um, and I'm gonna have to put these in my mouth, so um, wish me luck. actually my favorite one <laughs> because it's as shitty as this video <laughs> shit it's shit it's it's shit shit it's holy sh it's shit it's an actual it's an actual real piece of shit basically you um <laughs> take a piece of brown cardboard and you make it into the poop emoji then you use a string to attach it around your neck, maybe kill yourself with it, maybe kill me for having such a crappy idea and um, such a shitty pun. <laughs> and then you put the halo on your head. I couldn't find a halo so I had to make it with um, cake paper, you know, the thing you put under the cake to make it look fancy. I cut it up and I taped it to this plastic thing and I'm gonna put it on my head. Um, this sounds complicated, I'll, I'll just show you. I'll so, um, this one is more of a tip, but it's also kind of a costume. You know how every chick at a party or like everywhere takes Halloween as an opportunity to be a slutty something? So those girls who are usually a slutty nurse, a slutty bee, a slutty cat, I don't know how you can be a slutty bee, but whatever, do your thing. Those girls are basically a walking neon sign that says I want to have sex or for you to at least look at my body. Well, not all girls are that confident with their body, maybe, maybe they're fat, maybe they're insecure, maybe Maybe they're Amish, I don't know, but that doesn't mean that they don't want to get some. So, for those of you who still want to be a big ass sign that says fuck me, but want to keep your jelly rolls and or strict parents at bay, I have found this necktie that says available for like four times. 
it's cute, it's purple, it's obvious, it's big, everyone will see it. Wear this and I guarantee that at least one person would look at you. And who knows, maybe, maybe you'll find someone nice with a smart sense of humor, with a nice body, good personality, that will think that you are amazing for parodying all those slutty girls at the party. Side note, if that actually happens to you, then my advice is to drop the strawberry vodka because that boy is most likely to be in your head. Third, a manly lesbian that looks like a cute boy under the influence. The lesbian part is fine, but you might want to keep yourself away from that situation, especially if you don't want to end up on YouTube right next to cat videos and pen pineapple apple pen. But you can always say fuck it and throw on some stupid cat ears or whatever because let's be honest, we're only there for the free candy. Thank you lovelies, I'm a gun now, make sure to like and subscribe and share with your friends and family if you want them to cringe as well. Um, and I'll probably never do this again, that is of course if the views don't explode, um, in which case I'll be wearing only one costume for the rest of my life, which will be um, a sellout YouTuber. And um, leave me a comment telling me what you will be this Halloween, my costume is um, this. <laughs> I'm totally not Roxy. I'm so cringy.